chapter 6, 6.6, 6, which is uh, the markdown. Uh, what does it mean uh, markdown? Uh, let's say you went to a store and you saw uh, the word markdown on, on the items means, you know, it's another word for a discount. So they're discounting the items. Okay, so they're giving you a discount here by either a percentage. They Sometimes they mention it by percentage or they, sometimes they mention by dollar amount. So they could say, well, a $10 markdown or 10% or, or markdown depends on um, in, in the store that you're going to. Uh, now, after you get the markdown, you need to find the sales, uh, the, the final sale price, right? So you look at the the, the sale price, the, or the original sale price. Let's say, for example, it's one hundred ten dollars. Let's 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 make it a bigger number, a hundred dollars. Now, let's say you, do, you get a percentage of ten percent, so that that means they get discounting um, uh, ten dollars. So now, what, what that means? Your final selling selling price is going to be ninety dollars. So this is first of all, you need to find out the percentage here. Okay, let's say for example, percent uh, paid, I'm paying how much, and the regular selling price is how much, and then the sale price. Here they're showing you that the are marked down with 25%. The regular selling price is 125. That means they're gonna discount $31.25. Now take the same number back again and promote um, minus the markdown from it. So this is what's actually the selling price. Okay, okay. Uh, this is this is another one way of doing it. Also, there's a second way of doing it. You know, if you don't want to go to, through, you know, the steps, you could say, you know what, since I'm getting a discount of 25%, that means I'm only paying 75% of the actual item. So the, this price, I'm going to only pay not the whole 125, I'm going to pay only 75% of it. So 75% times this number is going to give me directly how much I'm going to be paid. So let's say you're not concerned about how much discount they're giving you. You're concerned about how much money you want to pay at the end. So if that's your concern, just, you know, go ahead. Subtract the 25% from the 100% and then multiply it by the regular selling price and you get actually your final price that you're going to pay the teller here. Okay, so if that's your concern. Now, the next next chapter that we're going to be doing, so it's chapter 7, for example. Uh, chapter 7 is going to be talking about charge uh, accounts and credit cards. So this is an interesting chapter because you probably you have some idea about the, the account statement because we did them in chapter 4 and 5. Uh, it's similar to it, but this time it's uh, you know it's for a credit card uh, company. It's not for the actual account in the bank that you own, but this is still the same thing. Still, you have a new balance. Still, you have a previous balance. Still, you have a, a finance charges, purchases. Uh, now you have something called purchases. We didn't have purchases, but you know it's a similar thing. So uh, and then you have payments and uh, credit. So uh, anytime you purchase more things, that means you owe more money, you know, on your account. And if you pay them or they give you credit, you owe less money. So this is a, a quick chapter, but it's only three, three sections. But, you know, uh, the other two sections, they, they have more work in them. You know, how to calculate the finance charges, which is the unpaid balance method. This is one way. And then the second idea was is going to be also doing the finance charges, but using the, another method called average daily balance method. So this is uh, something new for you. Nobody knows about it. I mean, I'm sure nobody of you guys know about it. You know that there's finance charges, but you don't know how they do the calculation. So the calculation is going to be done in two different ways. Most, you know, companies that you go with the average, okay, but we'll learn both of them in, in school when we get to them. Okay, so talk to you later. Bye-bye.